important that um, your client is confident and has a say in it mm. and we do know that um, kids you know kids their confidence start at the age of between five to seven to you by namibia asset management namibia asset management our expertise your advantage we love our entrepreneurs here on 99 fm and i have another exciting story to share with you this morning about uh, qb's kiddies boutique and it's a namibia based online kids boutique it has a variety of clothes for just those little beautiful little teeny totties um, they are ranging from the ages of six months to six years and we're just going to dive a little bit deeper into the collaboration with Ndinapama manufacturing supplies and just discover more about the brand's vision the upcoming projects and for me off air i was talking talking to Tundati and says she co-founded it um, with the Munchkin. So I want to know um, if, if, if the Munchkin also has a say <laughs> in the fashion. And Dati Nelumbu is the founder. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Dati. We're so excited to have you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, and you look, I mean, you look amazing. So you, you're fashionista of note. You <laughs> had to come off and show up and um, show up. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. So how's, how's your, you said your daughter is six. Yeah, she's uh, six now. Yeah, mm. yeah. So how's she doing first? No, she's doing doing well she's on yeah. holidays so yeah. yeah she's having some rest from all the work mm. and be <laughs> <laughs> the hard work that she puts yes. in <laughs> let's start there what the motivation behind you know starting uh cubby's uh, kiddies boutique what well, how did that come about okay so cubby's um boutique yeah so it basically started as a gift hamper mm. um yeah so it's a whole pivot a whole transition mm. it started off um while i was on maternity leave um that time now more than five yeah five years ago um i was at home and obviously you need a, a little income um mm. because you don't get your full salary on on maternity leave right Most. yeah um so yeah i started doing little hampers um for for new moms mm. uh, people oh. who are having baby showers yeah. or birthdays you know all yeah. at once and um then later i realized okay your every second person now is also doing hampers yeah. which is not a problem but i thought uh, i need a brand now mm. i need to put in something different in the hamper mm. that nobody will be able to replicate mm. and that would be a cubby's goodie a cubby's little clothing yeah something mm -hmm. no you're a powerhouse babes you you're a new new mom and you're already starting a business wasn't that daunting for you um it was yeah. it was it was definitely a bit um scary daunting mm. but um you move forward i mean if, if it's the only choice that you do have and you do have a passion for it mm. uh you move forward honestly with ease so you said you went from now having hampers to like you know you wanted to have like a standalone brand what are some of the products that you have on offer right now yes yeah, so um cubbies uh, basically we have the you know the fashion the kids fashion stuff we've yeah. got the hats now we've got clothes um summer clothes winter clothes yes. obviously uh, not limited stock mm. uh, because of the type of market that we are dealing with and uh recently we started to um transition into um nutrients mm. um lactation cookies for oh. the moms now is it yeah so that's the latest thing just taking care of the parents before we take care of the of also, the munchkin okay yes, yes. okay that's a really great pivot though yeah, so you, you're you. really you're you're ahead of the trend like you're just you know <laughs> keeping up with with everybody but in what ways does 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 cubby's boutique really involve the children especially like in the design process and then in the decision making of mm. of, of the products how how does the the co-founder <laughs> yeah. how does she how does she help no it's it's very important i i feel sometimes as adults we feel that we know what kids want we yeah. feel we they, they they want to you know wear teddy bears and stripes in different mm -hmm. colors mm -hmm. but it's also very important that um your client is confident and has a say in it mm. and we do know that um kids you know kids their confidence start at the age of between five to seven yeah. so they really need to be comfortable in what they are wearing mm -hmm. they need to have a say mm -hmm. um it's the only way they can actually step up mm -hmm. uh, yeah to their true selves mm -hmm. so um kids do have a very big impact and um, especially uh, daniela now who is um my daughter and um some other kids as well in our closed space yeah. um we go through catalogs we go nice. through different designs how do you like this they rate it uh, we give them like a piece of paper and just for them to actually get out this idea then we look for something which is similar to mm. that or try to make something similar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in terms of comfortability i mean we're talking six months to six years you said and 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 that age they grow up so quickly and they grow mm. out of clothes like so 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 quickly how have you find the manufacturing side of things um the 
manufacturing side of things is yeah it, it, it works well yeah the issue or not the issue the little challenge that we have now is that obviously parents don't really want to be investing so much in kids clothes true because there are other economic um, factors that we mm -hmm. are dealing with now so um, it is slowing down definitely mm -hmm. that's that's a trend I've seen mm -hmm. and that's why it was important just to diversify and um, you know carry the parent in the brand and yeah. incorporate them in the brand as well yeah. so they grow with the brand and yeah. the child would also um, eventually grow in the brand mm -hmm. so we, we should be definitely manufacturing um, um, clothes for for kids older than six because fine you're six years old you love cabbies then what the, the, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know? Like, bah, you have outgrown no, us now <laughs> no we really we really really are passionate yeah. to grow with our mm -hmm. clients yeah mm -hmm. you're speaking on still on, on manufacturing how has the collaboration been with with working with with Tina Pama? Yo, it was it was actually very amazing um something about me i am big on collaboration yeah uh because we need each other at the end of the day True. and uh, going to Dinapama manufacturing supplies which is such a powerhouse um, was quite very humbling and it was a, a learning journey mm. um, we went um, to the warehouse or you know they are plant or where they manufacture mm. and was so inspiring it's like tons and tons of ladies mm. and you know they're busy with this you have a one-on-one -on -one with the designer with the lady who's oh, wow. who's sewing the stuff uh, they take you through to the material that you would like yeah. and things like that so they gave some options yeah. and then we could choose okay this is better and they would advise you that mm. this material is better because it's it's you know eco-friendly and you mm. don't want a lot of um allergy Hot issues yeah kids yes, especially. yes yes that's so beautiful yeah it's oh, it's brilliant yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to see a, a fashion line come out soon so I can see little munchkins, you know, walking the runway. Actually, <laughs> on that, yeah. um, we recently sponsored um, um, Focus Academy. They had a fashion show. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> so the kids were in their little... Yeah, they were looking so cute. So yeah, cute. yeah, yeah, yeah. So cute. Mm -hmm. Where can we find... Um, I know it's an online store. If you can just share with us um, the platform uh, where people can, can check out some of the designs. And, and uh, like you said, something for the mummies as well. Mm. Okay, so, um, yeah, Cubbies, it's www.cubbies kids.com uh, um, it's it's an online shop an mm. online boutique either than that um, we are also on social media I'm mm. not I'm not sure if whether I can give the social media of course, links. Of oh course. okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah we're on Facebook mm. and we are on Instagram yeah. and our brand ambassador yeah. is always you know <laughs> showing us flames on TikTok Come now, on now. <laughs> yeah so we recently also now have mm. a TikTok um, mm. uh, account okay yeah where we interact a lot yeah. and you know go with the latest trends and things like that mm. it's yeah it's something to look out for so actually do you do you as a business and, uh, and and just you know for people that are listening and learning from you as a business uh, owner and a businesswoman um you, you've chosen to be an online platform do you perhaps at some point see yourself being in brick and mortar and having an actual physical store or that's not something that you would like to have looking at the, at the economy and how things are going okay so um Definitely for sustainability, it, it would be important to get into a physical space. Okay. Um, however, online, it, it comes out obviously cheaper. There's no rent. Mm. However, you need to host and the domains and the technicalities True. that come with it. Yeah. And our precious clients who would literally screenshot something <laughs> from the website <laughs> and... and, and What's up with you? Is it can I have this mm. while well, there's an ordering Online. system? <laughs> <laughs> but we are all learning. We are quite resistant yeah. to technology. Yeah. And um, as we go, we learn what the client wants, okay. how they are comfortable. Okay. And uh, definitely, we, we we hope to expand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the highlight of 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 Cubbies ever since it started. What would that be for you? Um, the highlight of Cubbies is uh, definitely the different support systems that we have. Okay. For yeah. example, 99 FM. Come, whoop, whoop. I mean. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, it, it, it's quite it, it's quite comforting to know that there are businesses out there who see what you are doing, mm -hmm. um, you know, because it's not always that you are encouraged. True. You wake up some days and you're like, yo, Why? not a single sale. Mm -hmm. Is this worth it? Mm -hmm. But you keep on pushing and you're pushing, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so, yeah, support system, all our clients, definitely we value them a lot as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. What does the future look like for, for the business now? The future... I'd like to say the future should look exciting, mm. but uh, from where we are standing, as I said, it's, it's continuing, continuous strategizing. Mm. Um, so we, we continuously need to pivot and see what's working and what's not. True. Um, we definitely are big on collaborating and diversifying, as, as, as I did say. Mm. So if there's anyone out there who has a brilliant idea mm. and uh, they feel that 
you know they need a brand behind it or or something or anybody who even wants to invest in the business um yeah so we are also looking into going into um kids education oh wow i can't really mention what Too exactly much, yeah, yeah but that's something that we are looking into as mm-hmm. well i love that love that for you Tati, thank you so much for being an inspiration and thank you so much for cubbies man um i cannot oh, i was gonna say next time i'm going to you know but for the mummies maybe i can be like your little model yeah nah, maybe <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to, to hearing more and more growth and, and, and uh, just to be, like you said, one of the support systems because the ecosystem of Namibian businesses and entrepreneurs is a much needed fuel mm. in the country. Thank you so much. So that was Ndati Nelumbu, the founder of Cubby's Kids Boutique. Check them out on online as well as on all of their social media platforms and where you can find some really great goodies for, for your munchkin and for you as the mummy. Expert advice on 99FM Startup, proudly brought to you by Namibia Asset Management. Namibia.